Welcome back. We're here, here looking at the ads in this season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 7, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We we're up 0.76% uh, today. And that's going to change. We were a lot higher, but gave most of those gains back at the end of the session. So kind of signal that um, people are starting to short this. Um, don't expect this to go significantly higher. We have the 50 moving average uh, just here at 12 point uh, uh, 1k and uh, going above that well we could but uh, still it is the mentality for this market at the moment is kind of selling these rallies so you can see the rallies up towards the 20 simple moving average are getting sold up towards the 50 several times are getting sold and selling at the, uh, the end of the close is kind of signal also that uh, people are expecting this to basically break down if we were to break to the upside, then we have this area here around this area here, here which should offer uh, quite a lot of resistance. It was basically the lows here and also the lows here and the highs here. And that should basically be a massive barrier to get through. Break it above here. Then we have the 200 moving average moving in this direction that will come into play. We will see, uh, we'll most likely see uh, rallies up towards the 200 moving average. It doesn't mean that we're getting out of this um, um, uh, bear market. As you can see right here, that we did rally up towards the 200 moving average and then broke down quite significantly. So those uh, rallies um, are common in bear markets of 10 to 15 percent. And the more common ones are the rallies up towards the 20 and the 50 moving average, which it looks like we are seeing at this current stage. So we may see this market, as we saw here, rally up towards the 50, get a shooting star, break down, and then just continue breaking down. If we break below the lows here, roughly 11K, uh, then we are going uh, significantly lower. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. And now a lot of them are up to the upside of the rally and also to the downside. So let's look at the S&P 500. Same goes for the S&P. It did rally up towards 3,870 and then ended up at, at 3,850, give or take. So we gave most of its gains back at the end of the, of the US session. We are also running into a barrier right here, which should also offer massive amount of resistance. We also have the 50 moving average just around this area. So give or take 3,900 up towards 4,000. That should be probably as far as this market will go. Kind of expecting something similar to what we saw here that we rally up towards this area and then give that away. Breaking below the lows here of, uh, of 3,640. Well, then we're going to see the market tumble even further. So as you see, market is definitely in a bear market and people are selling these rallies up towards the 2050 and occasionally to the 200 moving average. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish. So momentum at the moment is to the upside, but in a, in a bear market, those uh, fading rallies is kind of the, the, the tactic that, that most traders are using at this current stage until things turn around and, and we end up in a bull market yet again. So let's look at the uh, Dow Jones. And as you can see also here, it was basically all over the place. Not a lot of movement in the Dow Jones. Technically, guess all of them are fairly bullish at this current stage. We're hanging around right at the 20 simple moving average, just above that. Up here, we have the 50 moving average. That's probably gonna move in this direction. 200 move this, this direction and the 20 simple moving average will continue uh, going lower. We are approaching an area here that should be resistant. And the question is whether or not we break down from here or we manage to go up towards the 50 moving average and then break down. Breaking below 29.6K, uh, uh, or the lows here, then this market will uh, drop significantly lower. 
If we look at technical indicators, indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish, and there's a lot of room to the downside. So let's go to the European market. DAX, well, kind of ended up where it started. It, started. it has basically been all over the place. Um, kind of expect a rally, a minor rally uh, from the DAX going forward, as we are very low in the RSI. It may drop to the lows here, but don't see a drop similar to this uh, occurring um, anytime soon. We're kind of making a double bottom here, and this will probably break in the near future, but at the moment, I'm kind of betting on that the market is going to rally up towards uh, one of these moving averages. Uh, 200 moving average is probably the uh, least likely, as we also have a massive area of resistance here so if we were to get all the way up towards this point then then that is probably the best outcome for a short but rally up towards the 20 uh, simple moving average that is a probability but 50 moving average is kind of where i expect this market to uh, find major resistance so if you look at technical needles, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is turning around, around, but in negative territory, becoming bullish, and the RSI is turning around, but is at the edge of being oversold. So let's look at the Japanese Nikkei. Also here, we have we are basically down for the market, but it has kind of been all over the place. Trading at 26.2K, and at this current stage, we have a bottom here, and we also have a top. No, that was very poorly, uh, poor line. So going in between this area here, so we may see this market rally to the upside. This is probably as far as it will go, but breaking below this line here or this uh, these two uh, double bottom here will open up to the move to 24.5, uh, breaking below that. And then this market will tumble even further. But at this current stage, we are technically just going sideways as we are uh, within this area here. So a move to the upside that can be likely because this, this, is, this is basically how this market has been behaving um, the last, last um, few months. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is becoming bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the Wix and the Wix has basically turned around, found resistance at the 50 moving average. So at this current stage, uh, we are probably going to test the 200 moving average as it looks at this current stage. 200 moving average, as we saw here, has been major um, support. And something like this going forward is, is, is pro probably what we are going to see. We are making higher lows and kind of also making higher highs. So this market is definitely increasing in volatility but at a very slow pace not um, and what it's worked basically is by is buying uh, close to the to the 200 moving average, average and selling at these uh, oh sorry um selling at these um, at, at the bottom and basically buying at the top as there's a negative correlation between uh, the vix and indice stocks and and so on so when the VIX gets very volatile, everything tends to fall. And when it basically cools down, uh, uh, things rally. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at the 10-year. And 10-year just absolutely crushed it today. So there, as I talked about yesterday, there is a barrier here, which we uh, have to go through in order to go lower. And it looks like we are basically... Uh, rally from this um, uh, this uh, support area. So if we manage to take out the 50 moving average, the 20 simple moving average comes into the play. And then we have this kind of double top here that we basically have to break through in order to go back to the very high highs. The question is whether or not we break the 50 moving average or we basically get rejected there and then head south. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish and a lot of room to the upside so we may also see a market that just um, has pulled back as it got very overstretched 
and now we're also very overstretched to the bottom and also was on the edge of being oversold and now is ready to rally yet again. So, hope you found this helpful. You're going to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news with us. And good luck and thank you very much.